Welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve problem 9-35 that is taken from chapter number 9, Stress Transformation and book name is Mechanics of Material by R.C. Hibbler. So statement is the square steel plate has a thickness of 10 mm and is subjected to edge loading as shown. Determine the maximum in plane shear stress and average normal stress developed in the steel. So you can see this is the square steel plate of 200 by 200 mm this thickness is 10 millimeter and there is edge loading shown clear so you have to determine the uh, maximum in plane shear stress and average normal stress developed in the steel so we'll solve it by using stress transformation equation and then we will solve the same by using mohr circle both will give you the same answer so let's start with the solution so you can see this is uniformly distributed load of 50 kilo 50 newton per meter so when you convert this load into a point load so what you will do is that you have to multiply this 50 newton per meter with the length which is 200 millimeter so 200 millimeter in meter is 0 0.2 that will give you uh, 10 newton load clear this is fy same is the case here downward so when you convert it it into a load so this will be fy this is compressive load same is the case is that if you convert this load into a point load so this 50 newton per meter into the length which is 0 0.2 will give you 10 newton load and this is in x direction so this is fx clear so this is fx now we'll find the stress which is sigma x and sigma x will be equal to fx divided by the area so fx is 10 newton clear 10 newton and this area area of this will be equal to this thickness which is 0. Point, this is the thickness which is 0. 0.01 meter and this height which is equal to 0. 0.2 will give you this area clear and this area will be equal to 0 0.2 which is the height and thickness is 0 0.01 and when you solve this you will get it 5000 newton per meter square so this sigma x will be equal to in term of uh, this is 5000 pascal newton per meter square and that is equal to 5 kilo Pascal. So we have convert this uniform uh, this point load into stress. So sigma x is stress. Uh, this is sorry x in this direction. So this load is converted into normal stress in x direction. Same you can find this sigma y and this sigma y you can see this is a compressive load. So it will be minus clear. So minus fy divided by the area. So Fy is uh, minus 10 divided by now this area is same this is 0 0.2 meter or 200 millimeter and this thickness is 0 10 millimeter or 0 0.01. So this is the area. So I will write the same area 0 0.2 multiply by 0 0.01 and that will give you minus 5000 Newton per meter square or you can say sigma y is minus 5000 pascal or sigma y is equal to minus 5 kpa so there is no shear stress so from here you can see that sigma x is 5000 5 kilo pascal sigma y is minus 5 kilo pascal there is no shear stress so tau of x y is equal to zero so we are going to find out the maximum in plane shear stress and we are using stress transformation equation so a stress transformation equation so we know that uh, maximum in plane sharing stress is equal to sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 whole square plus tau of x y whole square and this all the terms are in 
under the root. So just put the value sigma x is 5 minus minus 5 divided by 2 whole square plus top x y which is 0 whole square under the root will give you the maximum in plane shear stress. So when you solve this you will get 5 plus 5 10 divided by 2 is 5 which is 25 square and that will give you 5 kilo pascal. So this is maximum in plane shear stress. Now we'll find the average sharing stress. So average shear stress is equal to sigma x plus sigma y divided by 2. So 5 minus 5 divided by 2 will give you sigma average stress and that is equal to 5 minus 5 is 0 divided by 2. So that sigma stress will become equal to 0. Now you have this maximum in plane shear stress and average shear stress. So we will find the plane of maximum in plane shear stress. So for that we have uh, formula which is equal to tangent of 2 theta s is equal to minus sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2. Clear this sigma x minus sigma y whole divided by 2 divided by tau of x y so just put the value minus sigma x is 5 minus minus 5 divided by 2 and divide by 0 that is equal to tangent of 2 theta s so 2 theta s will be equal to tangent inverse infinity and that will give you 90 degree so 2 theta s is equal to 90 degree so it means theta s is equal to 45 degree now we'll put this theta in the in the equation which is equal to tau of x dash y dash is equal to minus sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 into sine of 2 theta plus tau of x y cos of 2 theta so minus 5 minus minus plus 5 into sine of theta is 45 2 theta is 90 90 degree plus 0 into cos of 90 degree that will give you transform shear stress at angle of theta s so divide by 2 so when you calculate it you will get this as minus 5 into sine of 90 degree which is equal to tau of x dash y dash and that is equal to minus 5 kPa. Why we put theta in this transform equation in order to find the direction. So if you draw the state of stress element, let this was your initial x axis and this is your y axis. Now at theta 45 degree counterclockwise so let this is the 45 degree counterclockwise will be your new transform stress uh, x is x dash y dash and if you take the element like this it should be like it should be like this clear so you can see that your uh, tau of x dash y dash is negative so it will be like this this will be your sharing tau of x dash y dash and this is equal to tau of x dash y dash our maximum in player sharing stress is 5 kPa that is negative clear and every shear stress is equal to 0 so there is no sharing stress so this is our solution that average sharing stress is 0 and uh, average normal stress is 0 and maximum in plane shear stress is 5 kPa so we use this in order to find the direction so that is negative so we use this 
and this is the angle which is theta is equal to 45 theta s is equal to 45 degree in counterclockwise now we will solve the same equation a uh, question by using mohr circle so for mohr circle we need this coordinate sigma x into tau of xy and other coordinate sigma y comma minus tau of xy in order to plot this so for that i will take a horizontal axis on which we will take normal stress and we will take vertical axis for the sharing stress clear and we will plot this sigma x so sigma x is uh, 5 uh, and sigma y tau of x y is 0 similarly sigma y is minus 5 and 0 so we will plot this let each division is of 1 kpa so 1 plus 5 0 1 2 3 4 5 so this point is 5 comma 0 and this 1 2 3 4 5 and this will be minus 5 comma 0 so if you draw a circle that is passing through these two points let me draw a roughly circle this is actually not a circle if you draw it by using compass so it will be like this clear so from here you can see that this is the center which is equal to 0 comma 0 and we know that this center c is 0 comma 0 which shows that this c is average comma tau of x y clear so at this point so you can see we have sigma average is 0 clear and uh, um, this sigma average is equal to zero now you can see here this is the maximum in plane shear stress at this point in plane shear stress and you can find it by using this r this is the radius of circle clear this is the radius of circle so this r is equal to maximum in plane shear stress in plane so this r formula can be we can use for, for formula for r is sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 whole square plus tau of x y whole square under the root so put the value sigma x is 5 minus minus plus 5 divided by 2 whole square plus 0 square will give you r will be equal to 5 5k p a so you can see this r is equal to maximum in plane shear stress so maximum in plane in plane shear stress is equal to 5k p a clear and again if you have drawn this uh, mohr circle uh, as per the scale so you can see one two three four and five so it will be exactly at this point clear let me correct it it will be like it will be at till this point this will this will be your in plane shear stress okay now you can see theta s is equal to this total this angle counterclockwise this is the point this line is the state of stress shown so if you want to convert it into this so you have to take it 2 theta this is 2 theta s so if this 2 theta s is equal to 90 degree this line will become a vertical line so where we have the maximum in plane shear stress clear so this 2 theta s is equal to 90 degree so theta s will be equal to 45 degree counterclockwise so if you rotate it to theta s so you can see here you have negative shear stress in plane shear stress which is the same result that is shown over here and that was all about this problem 9-35 i have explained it using both methods i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos 
If you have any question, you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching.